what does the uh, general sense of things feel like there with the Caps doing things that we, uh, fans have not seen them do maybe ever in their lifetimes? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, Rich. You look at it and, you know, they've had to jump a lot of hurdles and we've had a lot of success in the regular season, but never in the playoffs. And this to me is a culmination of a team on a mission. You know, mid-season, I thought, "Uh uh-oh, this team may not make the playoffs. And then all of a sudden, they get into a little bit of a groove and now they are playing harder than I've ever seen a Washington Capital team play. And I arrived in 82, so that's a lot of years watching and playing with this franchise that, man, is this team ever playing for one another and playing hard? And that's why they got what they did last night. It was terrific for the city and the fans here, and more importantly, terrific for Ovi and this team along with Barry Trout. Yeah, you mentioned Ovi, uh, Alex Ovechkin uh, winning a Game 7 finally. Um, and doing something that Caps fans hadn't seen, as I mentioned, if they're uh, born after 1998 ever. What makes this team different from previous years, Craig? Uh, I would say the chemistry right now, and it's a lot more intangible stuff, Rich, than the actual textbook players. I mean, the type of players they lost and now have replaced with young legs, and maybe they don't know the nuances of the high pressure and playoff situations, but they're going out and playing. This is the loosest I have ever seen a Caps team in playoff, from the coach Barry Trotz taking a lap at practice to players actually smiling during the game and enjoying the moment. It's never been the case here in Washington. It's like, uh uh-oh, we'd have to discuss after every game, well, it looked like the Capitals didn't get the breaks, Halak stoned us in the Montreal series. Uh Uh-oh, it's goaltending. And we always had what if, what if, what if. And now, all of a sudden, the bounces are going our way. You know, in the second period last night, they missed one right on the doorstep, an empty net. In the past, that would have been in the Caps, and then it would have been 1-1. Then Tampa Bay gets momentum and probably would have won the hockey game. So this is a totally different game, and it's more intangible than it is actual players. One comment on Ovechkin, and a lot of people that don't watch him every day like I do, this is the best he has ever played. I said after game six on our post-game show, I said, I have never seen Alex Ovechkin play the game as well as he did tonight. And you look at his score sheet, 0-0-0, no points, no nothing, but he willed his team to win. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.